it's that time of the year. And we already know today is the day that's early signing day in which we're seeing a lot of athletes all over the country picking the institutions that they're looking to continue their collegiate football careers. And in this instance, this young man here is looking to bring his talents to a program that he's going to be able to get out there and compete, show up and show out to let everybody know, hey, listen, he's here to play some ball. And guess what? Lauren, Mississippi has just got them a young man that can come in there and spin that ball. And we're going to talk about him right after this. You know it's your favorite coach back at it again. Ten toes down, about to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get all upcoming videos. For all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and share these videos. And tap in a friend until tell them to come on in. It's no positive vibes. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. And don't forget, you can follow us on all social media platforms. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get on in this thing and get straight to it. Because I'm only like, Coach, what you got going on over there? Well, y'all already know, it's early signing day. And a lot of these athletes, they say, hey, listen, I want to go ahead and get this out of the way. I've made my decision on where I want to go. And you know, early signing day is kicked off with a bang because there's some young men right now that's signing with HBCUs that's looking to come in and make a difference right away. And I'm going to tell you right now, Coach McNair just landed another athlete in the Braves football program that can spin it. Former Max Prep, All-American, Rivals Illinois Player of the Year. Who am I talking about? None other than former four-star recruit from East St. Louis High School in St. Louis, Missouri, who just transferred in from Missouri University to Brave Nation. Tyler Draco Macon. That's correct, guys. Tyler Missouri, Tyler Draco Macon, in three games, threw the ball 17 times, completing nine for 143 yards, one touchdown. Now, he also rushed the ball 13 times, 50 yards, one touchdown. Now, I know a lot of y'all are saying, Coach, why they call him Draco? I'm going to tell you right now. His junior high school. This young man threw for 4,241 yards, 39 touchdowns. Also running the ball for 827 yards and 17 touchdowns. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this young man can definitely get out there on the field and get after it. Yes, I know he played over Missouri in which, you know, the stats doesn't really, you know, jump out at you on the screen. But looking at what this young man can do out there on the field, this new addition to the Braves quarterback room is going to be something else to see. Because Remember, you had Aaron Allen who transferred in last season from uh, Louisiana Tech, who I believe I got, I believe he got injured during the season, and he was out the last couple of games of the season, in which you had none other than Mr. Trey Lawrence come in and take over for the last four. Now, seeing all three of these young men get out there and compete to see who's going to lead that team come next year, it's going to be something to watch. Boy, spring football is going to be a beautiful thing. But I'm going to tell you right now, glad to see that Coach McNair went out there, got another quarterback. Right. Making is now going to become a part of the all court State football program. And like I said, definitely going to be great competition out there. Congratulations, Brave fans, on the latest commit, excuse me, latest signee to all court State University. Definitely going to be looking forward to seeing some games in Lorman come next season. And can't wait to see you guys get out there and put on for the Braves fan base. But until next time, be the one and lead.